My name is Greville Henwood with Groovy Kids Yoga. Are warrior poses good for toning muscles? Yes, 100%. They're among the best exercises for toning muscles. There's three warrior poses, warrior one, warrior two, and warrior three. Each one works slightly differently, but they all will tone the calf muscles, the quadricep muscles, the hamstrings, the glutes, the waist area, the upper body, the shoulders, the triceps and biceps. So this is warrior one. Warrior one has the chest facing forwards, the arms extended overhead. Make sure that the triceps are toned and firm. So imagine that you're Charles Atlas on the beach and you engage your biceps and triceps and you keep those engaged as you raise the arms over the head in line with the ears. Bend your front thigh if possible to a 90 degree angle so that the knee does not go beyond the, the ankle joint. That's very important. If possible, have the thigh parallel to the floor and then we're engaging the glute, uh, the quadricep muscles. We're engaging the quadricep muscles. We've also engaged the calf muscles and now we're engaging the gluteus muscles uh, as well. And then lift the front ribs up and keep stretching the arms up as you descend into your heel bones so that you're balanced. And then of course, repeat on the other side. So in warrior two, we have a front heel with back arch alignment. The back leg is straight, the front leg is bent, if possible to a right angle so the knee does not go beyond the ankle joint. The front thigh is turned out in the hip socket, so it'll feel as if you're lengthening the inner groin but shortening from the outer knee to the outer hip. We work in warrior two to draw the butt uh, to draw the buttock muscle or the buttock bone underneath into the line of the knee and the heel while at the same time keeping the top of the back thigh pressing back. Lift the sides of the waist evenly, square the chest to the side of the room and engage the arms but drop the shoulders. Keep your gaze steady and bend into a right angle. Keep the back leg powerful and straight. In warrior three, the body is essentially in a T-shape with all the way balanced onto the standing leg heel bone. The kneecap should be drawn upwards to keep the leg as straight as possible and the arms extended forward. Reach back with the back leg, reach through the heel or through the toes and extend backwards away from the middle of the body as you reach forward at the same time and slowly bending your front leg, step back into warrior one and straighten the legs. My name is Greville Henwood with Groovy Kids Yoga and we were looking at the question, are warrior poses good for toning muscles?